Hello YouTube, welcome to my YouTube channel I'm Anna Bella and today I am finally going to be doing the new Pokemon handbook. Okay, the previous one, Pokemon Super Extra Deluxe Essential Handbook, has got eight regions in. So you've got Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Shinho, Unavar, Kalos, Aloha and now Galar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight regions. In this one, which is new, brand spanking new for August in the Pokemon Super Duper Extra Deluxe Essential Handbook, we have nine. Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinho, Unavar, Kalos, Aloha, Gala, and now Paladine. Yay! So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine regions. Okay, and just for size comparison, it is taller. And I'd say a buy, maybe 200 or 150, which is standard. Because each region does tend to bring a new 100 or so Pokemon into existence. Because we used to have 150, 151, and then Johto put it up to 250. And so on and so forth. So, in this one, now over eight, 875 characters. You get that. You get how to use the book. Guide to Pokemon types. Why they battle. The face-off. Mega Evolution. Gigantamax Pokemon. Different regional forms. Ultra Beast, Legendary Pokemon. And then you're in. This one... The new one, this is the front of the new book. This is the back of the new book. So that's what you've got. And, ooh, it looks to be like a colouring and activity book. And then there's also available the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet handbook. And then you've got the Gala handbook and the Classic Collector's handbook. I had the original one of that back in the day. So... There, you have the back and front of that one. And this is the new one. Very excited for that book, actually. Might get it. Anyway, let's open this out and have a good look. This is the brand spanky new one. So we've got how to use this book. We have the cheese string Pokemon. No, that's just me being silly. That's its name. It's the coin entity Pokemon. Yeah, well, it's looking like a cheese string. Whatever. Yeah, we've got Pokemon that look like an ice cream. Let's get over it. Then we've got the different types, all the way from fire to fairy. Why battle the face off, choosing the best Pokemon for the job. And then we've got Mega Evolution, Gigantamax Pokemon, regional forms are now a big thing now. Ultra Beast, Legendary Mythical, and Paradox Pokemon. Paradox Pokemon are not mentioned in this one. You just go straight in. So there's the definition. Paradox Pokemon are Pokemon from, the, from out of time. Some are from the past, some are from the future. Then we've got Pokemon stats and facts. And they start exactly the same here. But in the old book... Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Though they did move the Abra around. It was facing one way. It is now facing another. Let's just put that on that. There you go. The Abra switched around. And it's pretty much the exact same. Nope, they've done some refiddling of stuff. So it's all in alphabetical order. So let's whiz on from A and see if we can find a classic... Aha, uh -huh, one of the new ones that I have never actually used in a game. Shocking. Look at that. It's a ball of fire. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, some of the new Pokemon. Interesting. Look at this one. Ooh, there's a legendary one. Steel fighting. That is a goat. Firefighting ground does not evolve. 
Let's see if we can find... Some of these Pokemon are beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah, legendary. Let's see if we can find a Charizard. Should be in here somewhere. See, H. We go Charmeleon, Charmander. Ooh, look at that one. It's like an Arctic Otter. Love it. And it's a legendary one. Cool. Chimchar! And Chikorita. Oh, we love you so much, guys. Let's see. Here we go. This one is incredibly popular at the moment, particularly on Pokemon Go. And then we've got... Oh! Find it, you lose it. Shocking. But we're going to do it anyway. We are going to find it again. Oh, we're near. Very near. So we've got Regular Charizard up there, Gigantamax Charizard there, whoa, and then we've got Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y, that is awesome, on the Charizard page, and it goes on very much like that. Let's do a proper flick through. There are so many of them now. This game is like 30 plus years old. We do have a lovely index at the back. So there is Zygarde. Beautiful. And then it's got Bulbasaur as number one. And then the last one, because it's done by Pokemon number, is Maradon. I think. It also gives you a little pronunciation guide as well. How to say their names in English. Okay, so these are the English names. Some of them might be different in other countries, which brings me on to my next piece. So, very, very similar. Let's see if they've got the index. They have the index? No, the index is brand spanking new. This one does not have the index. So, that is a new feature. This one is a Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokedex, a couleur de, de la région de la gare. So it's um, gala region. It's French. It is a colouring book. Yeah, I'm working on it. I have done a flip through of it, but... You basically get the name, which will be in French, the type, which will be in French, and then all their details are in French. It's a brilliant book, really. So that is that. Look, right, you didn't look cool. Anyway, moving swiftly on, and the back is also in French, and then you get this lovely extra colouring sheet at the back to colour. So that will have the French names in. So we will see if we look and this is also in alphabetical order but if we look at so they've gone with A's if we look at Axolotl is pretty much the same. <laughs> Trust me to find one. But if you look at some of the others, they have completely different names. Completely different names in French than they do in English. So that is that. I'm going to do one final flick of the new guidebook because people do like to know. They're awesome books. Really, really useful. Of all the Pokemon books, I just get this one that you can get. Because then you've got everything, you've got their stats, you've got their facts. You can look them up now that we've got the nice index at the back. Thank you. 
But let's go. And the last one we'll look up is the classic Pikachu because people, you know, I mean, come on, he's pretty much, the, he's the mascot for the brand. Here we go. Oh, look, there's, so you've got Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu, Surfing Raichu, and then you've got these other variants. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this review and look at three different types of Pokemon books. Please like, comment and subscribe. And thank you so much for the support. Bye.